The main house voting today on whether to establish a special investigative committee that can decide whether to impeach Secretary of State Shanna Bellows. That house order was voted down. 60 have been voted in the affirmative, 80 have been voted in the negative. The motion fails. The final vote, 80 no, 60 yes. This all comes after Bellows' decision to remove former President Donald Trump from the 2024 primary ballot. Republican rep and minority leader of the main house, Billy Bob Falkenham, disappointed by today's vote. The Secretary of State may have uh, dodged an impeachment today, but at the end of the day, she's going to lose her decision. In this country, we let the people decide who their politicians are going to be. The, we let the people decide how their elections are going to be decided. And we don't play games of keeping people off the ballot to decide elections before they happen. Democrat Representatives Mo Terry and Kristen Cloutier released a joint statement saying in part, quote, Secretary Bellows acted within her legal duty and authority under state law to determine the validity of a candidate's primary petitions, end quote. It is the legislature that delegated this authority to me and put these requirements in place. I cannot place anyone, any candidate, who does not meet the qualifications of the office they seek. That I had a job to do, I followed the law and the Constitution, and now the matter is before the courts, which is the appropriate place to resolve any disagreements about my decision. Bello suspended the effect of her decision pending an appeal. So at this point, Trump's name is still on Maine's primary ballot. Trump has appealed to the Kennebec Superior Court, who must rule by January 17th. Trump has asked the Maine court to delay its decision pending the Supreme Court ruling on the Colorado case. Representative Falkenham says he's confident no matter where this goes, that Trump's name will remain on our ballots. This was a, a wrong decision that was made for political reasons, but it's going to be reversed by the courts. There is a chance this could go all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court for a final decision on whether Maine can keep Trump off of its primary ballot. Whether they'll take it up, we'll have to wait and see. Reporting in Augusta, I'm Talia Clark for Maine's Total Coverage.